What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So it is currently almost 11 o'clock at night and it's like a day and a half before our wedding. So we wanted to get this last Q&A out for you guys. Hopefully I can have it edited, 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 edited in time. So first question I got was, what are you the most excited about for the wedding day? I don't want to say the ceremony because I feel like that's very cliche and obvious. Like. That's the whole point of the wedding is the ceremony. So it's like the best part. Besides that, I would probably say like just all of our friends and family coming together and then we're just like vibing out and just like having fun with everyone. I'm excited to see like people that we went to high school with because we haven't seen them in actually a while. Yeah, it's actually been a while since we've seen our high school friends. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. You know, like, it's going to be so lit. Yeah, but I'm most excited for the honeymoon. That's not a part of the wedding. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's a part of getting married. I guess. That's what I'm most excited for. Someone, oh, this was actually Chris, Rissa's brother. Mm -hmm. Chris said, no question, wish I could slide. Much love, brother. Congrats again, can't wait to see the video. Thank you. That is my guy, yo. Shout out to Chris, bro. <laughs> it's always love when it comes to him. He's such good vibes, yeah. such positive energy. Someone said, what time will the wedding be? What time is the wedding? Three? I don't know. Isn't it, it's not three? The actual ceremony, when does it start? Three? No. One. Two. Why are you saying it like that? Like, what, what? Because we put a certain time so that everybody gets there early and you're airing out the actual time. I don't think everybody that's attending our wedding is going to watch this video. Now they're going to try to show up late. Watch, because of you. I don't think so. I mean, if they show up late, you just won't be let in, so. Oh, yeah, that's true. There's that. Is Blooper going to be a part of the wedding? Yes. Mm hmm he is. He is going to be a part of the wedding. We're going to let you guys guess down in the comments what you think his role is going to be. I feel like it's pretty obvious. But <laughs> he is going to be a part of the wedding. Yes. And I'm so of excited course, to see Of course. That's my baby. Like, what? Why would he not be? I'm so excited to see that. <laughs> Someone said, don't see the bride before the wedding. Obviously. <laughs> I, I specifically asked these questions on Instagram saying, you know, last Q&A before the wedding. And then someone just said, how many times a week do you guys do it? Nothing to do with the wedding, bro. <laughs> I got why, a lot of questions like why do you want to know that people are like don't get married no why are you getting married leave him <laughs> what, the, what did I do it was already was like guys like oh my gosh no be with me instead this is a good question mm. what are your wedding scents some people choose a specific perfume slash cologne to wear Ooh, that's a good question that is a good question honestly I only have two colognes to choose from <laughs> <laughs> and it's either gonna be Dior Sauvage or Hugo Boss. I'm not gonna lie, they that one like good. they really does smell good. I miss the one with the electric. The that was Bad Boy. Strike. It was called Bad Boy. I got that one for you. Yeah, that one was good too. That smells so good. I don't know. I think for the wedding though, I'm probably gonna use the Hugo Boss. It's such like a light scent. Yeah. I and like I can it. like coat it on me, and like it won't be strong. You know what I mean? I'm in between wearing Valentino, but that's a really strong one. I think I know what scent that is. That one or my Chanel, because that's a very light. The Chanel one floral. smells really good too. Yeah. I would say the Chanel. Oh, so you don't like the Valentino? I just said I did. The Valentino is good, but the Chanel to me, I think is a little better. If I have the scents right in my head, because you have like, I don't know how many different scents. You really like my eyelash perfume, the, the red one. Oh, Billie Eyelash? Don't be funny. Because you know how to say her name. Put some respect. Someone said, are we doing a pre-wedding shoot? Oh, I had that question too. Maybe. Maybe. We have something going on. You guys will see it. <laughs> Why is Janice the perfect wife for you? Explain in detail. Okay. Yeah, I want to hear it. I think that is to be explained in my vows. So I'm not going to answer that question. It's going to be in my vows. If you guys want to know why I'm marrying her, listen to my vows. Yeah, but vows are supposed to be like the promises you're going to make as a husband to me. And I'm going to tell you why I'm making those promises. Oh, okay, period. All right, so make sure you guys watch the wedding video when it comes out because I'll answer that question then. Someone said, do you expect her to hit you with that signature moment? Booty all out cooking bacon. What? I'm thinking they're talking about like, I don't know, like married couples when you go downstairs and then the girl's just like making breakfast and she's like an oversized t-shirt with just like... That was such an unnecessary question. It was. So, <laughs> like, why do, why did you even ask that? Do I expect that? Yes. Are the butterflies <laughs> getting to you guys? Kind of more more so anxiety for me, but it's a good anxiety like I'm like anxious to like For it to be here right? like the, the day the moment like the whole vibe I'm, I'm like super ready for it And I think my last question is gonna be what is the difference between when you guys first started dating and now? I think it's that we figured each other out Really? Yeah, because when we were first started dating we still didn't know each other like 100% we did know each other very well. It's just yes, we didn't like, know how to function in a relationship together. I feel like we were still learning each other. Yeah. 
Like, I feel like now I've seen you at your worst, I've seen you at your best. I just know you, like, the back mm -hmm. of my hand now. I think now, from the beginning, I mean, the beginning we were kids, we had a lot more energy and it was more lighthearted, but now we just, like, are adults and we have to be a little bit more serious about things. I think that's the, what has changed the most. So someone asked, do you wish you would have traveled more and done more things differently before getting hitched? Me, personally, I'm content with the way I lived my life the past like several years. I don't think there's anything I would have changed because it wouldn't put me where I'm at right now. I I feel like you can still travel and live your life after getting married. I don't mm -hmm. see why getting yeah. married would stop you. It should be more fun because now you have someone to tag along. Yeah, not even that. Like it should be fun just in general, just celebrating your marriage. But as far as doing things differently, not really. Like doing things differently in the relationship that's a very broad question so i don't really know how to answer that honestly like i said i think things as things change they get better is your dress black or white red and i've gotten this question asked so many times like is your dress black i don't know why people would think that i would actually I was wear a say, black dress don't think it's a dumb question because you've made jokes in the past year saying that your wedding dress was gonna be black well, you didn't you've said that before 100 percent, you did well that 100%. was a joke because I never would wear a black To jacket. me, it even sounded serious, like you were serious about it. Bruh, I honestly, I want, I always wanted a green dress. Like a sage green dress with glitter. I'm happy you chose white. I didn't choose white. Technically, you did. Well, yeah, clearly. We went to go pick up my dress today, and I was telling him not to look because the bag was see-through, y'all. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see anything about you when it comes to that, like, look. I want to be completely shocked. Mm. Okay. Next question is, how's your mental health and nerves before the wedding? At the moment, stress the freak out. Just because there's a lot going on. It's like super, like a lot, a lot of things going on. Yeah, I think my mental health is, I'm not even gonna lie. Like I, I always be honest on here. So it's in the gutter, bro. The best like, part about the days, this, the last couple days is just going to bed. That's been the best part. Not even that for me. As y'all can hear my baby brother crying. Yeah, That's I just a little taste of it. I see his family staying with us. Literally, so. like my whole, like the whole family tree. Everybody. So if you hear commotion, exactly. sorry. <laughs> we, have, we have more than like 10 plus people in the house. Yeah. So it's been really hectic. As far as nerves, like I don't even have time to be nervous because I'm so stressed for real. And it's like the wedding stress on top of dealing with the hurricane stress because we didn't even know if we could actually have a wedding or not. Yeah. Uh, up until like yesterday. Right. Or like the day before, and that's like three, four days it, before It was like, it was it was close to getting canceled. Yeah. Like it really was. It, it was pretty scary. Mm -hmm. Next question is, were you picky with picking a dress? I went into the dress process knowing exactly what I wanted, and I tried on the dress that I wanted, and I hated it. It just that's looked crazy. so ugly on me. Like, it was not, it was itchy and uncomfortable. And um Did it look like the itchy sweater from Spongebob? No. Can you know I say what, what it about? looked like or no? Is it anything similar to what you got now? Like at any No, but I feel like that would also be a giveaway. No, then I don't know. Don't say Okay, never mind then. No. Okay, so yeah, I just hated it. It was itchy and that's that. So funny thing about my dress is I picked the first dress I tried on. So no, I actually wasn't. Okay, someone said, what is you guys' favorite and least favorite thing about wedding planning? I personally don't have much because like I said in past videos, Janice did a lot of the wedding planning. I have no knowledge when it comes to this stuff. For, I guess if I had to choose anything, it would probably just be like all the back and forth you have to go with, like talking to people. You have to speak to this vendor, that vendor, the venue, the planner, this, and it's like, a constant loop of just non-stop talking to different people and just trying to make sure they're all in sync. It may sound not that like chaotic, but it really is. I think my least favorite people, people, people. whoa, sorry y'all. My least favorite process of the wedding planning is waiting on people to respond to a question that I need in order to move on to the next step in my planning. Yeah. It's like you can't do things on your own because if things were up to me, I'd be done with everything in one day. Yeah. But things take so many steps and there's so many moving parts and you have to rely on other people and that's a weakness for me. Like I like to do shit on my own and get it done and um, that's been the worst thing. It's yeah. like having to wait Relying for people. Relying on people. Oh gosh, it's the worst. That's yeah. like, it's a nightmare for me. 
my favorite thing um, about wedding planning. I think there, there's no favorite, there's no favorite part. Maybe, probably, <laughs> probably the cake tasting. I was gonna say the cake tasting. That's it. That's probably it. That's it. Was the cake tasting. That's all I've been looking forward to is dessert. And then the last question was for me, and it is: Will you be taking his last name, or are you keeping both? I am taking his last name. I'm getting rid of my last name. I don't ever want to hear my last name ever Can we again. Say it? Can we just say it right now? No. Janice Nyasia Tucker. Blech. Tucker. Ugh. Stop saying it. It makes my skin crawl. The amount, of, the the type of sounds you're thinking, my family's gonna be like, "What the hell are they doing in that room?" <laughs> like, think about it. Like, one minute you're laughing, and then the next minute you're like, Hoo! "I don't want to hear that last name ever again." Don't Tucker. Just cut it out. Tucker. Stop. That's from Breaking Bad, guys. If you've never seen that, go watch it. There's a scene in there where he's just yelling Tucker. That just reminded me of when I was young. Tucker! Babe. Tucker! All right! Uh, it's not your fault. You were born with it either, but... Yeah, it's my mom's fault because she made my dad sign the birth certificate because if he wouldn't have signed it, I wouldn't have had that last name. At least your dad was there to sign it. <laughs> that is it, guys. We hope you guys enjoyed this little Q&A right before the wedding. Um, if we look tired and stressed and out of energy, it's because we are. It's been chaotic, as we said, but we wanted to get this video out to you guys right before the wedding, so we hope you guys enjoyed it. Well, the next video y'all gonna see is definitely the wedding video. It's gonna be the wedding video or the 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 video of like right before the wedding, like the behind the scenes and stuff like that. Not sure how our videographer is gonna go about it. He's in complete control of that, but it's gonna be a crazy one, the next one. So just make sure y'all stay tuned.